Oh, so computer science is the study of um, computer systems and more abstractly computation. So it's about how we think about the world in a computational way. And just as I think it's just as we kids learn about physics because it's part their world is governed by physical laws. So increasingly our world is governed by digital laws. I think it's important that every child knows something about how that world works and the laws that govern it. Right, so the, the Computing at School Working Group, to give it its um, original name, is just a bunch of concerned individuals. It's very much a grassroots organisation. Started in 2008, there were just kind of four of us in the room, and we were more or less thinking, it's, everybody seemed to believe at the time there was something wrong with ICT education in Britain, but everybody kind of feels powerless because the educational system has such a, such a lot of inertia. So CAS is simply an attempt to bring together all the people who think there is something wrong, we should do something together to fix it, and try to do something to fix it. So the first thing we had to do was to figure out, well, uh, what is wrong? What, what, what is a, as it were, a diagnosis, not of the symptoms, but of the disease? So in the end, we figured out that what it was is that we'd, over time, and for quite well-meaning reasons, computer science education has shifted, or computing education in Britain has shifted from understanding quite a bit about programming, quite a bit about understanding how computer worked. This was, this was back in the late 80s, the era of the BBC Micro. And then for the best of reasons, we'd slipped into increasing focus on applications. Um, and at the same time, PCs came along, so people, it was sort of less hands-on at the hardware level, so that we spend more, more of our time focusing on how to apply and use computers, which is, of course, very important, but we'd somehow lost completely the idea about studying computation itself or how computers work. Um, and that, as it were, decoupled the applied end from the underlying discipline. So what CAS is fundamentally about is introducing computer science as a discipline at school level in the same sense that maths and physics are disciplines. That is, they have an underlying body of knowledge, a set of principles and fundamentals that last for years. A computer science curriculum at school should be recognisable 10 years ago and will be recognisable in 10 years' time. It's specifically not technology-focused. It's to give you, equip you for life, if you like. That's the mission. One of the huge wins is CAS is that it's very much a bottom-up organisation and that people just roll up their sleeves and get on with it. And that's very liberating because instead of being sort of top-down, you have to wait for somebody to tell you what to do. Then, you know, Alan O'Donoghue runs a Hack to the Future day and it's just an enormous success. And um, Guinevere is running uh, Hack Days in, in Brighton. It's, it's all just individuals doing things. I was at Paul Clark's session about source. He single-handedly has built a system for teaching programming to school kids that's now being used by thousands of school kids around the country. Just amazing. So, but that sort of grassroots sense, and CAS includes not just teachers, but IT professionals, uh, of which Paul is one, school governors, members of professional bodies, um, members of exam bo awarding bodies are also members. So it's a very broad um, organisation. And that gave us a lot of credibility. Then we, we um, joined up with the BCS, who are our umbrella professional body. And together, we have started to have quite a bit of impact at national level. But that impact comes entirely from the credibility we have coming from this grassroots connection. People believe us because they know that thousands of school teachers or 8,000 school teachers are involved in CAS. That makes a huge difference. What's happened in the last... So we've been, we've been, in the last three years, we've been making the case to, um, uh, at national level, for computer science to be considered as a school subject that every child should have access to, not just as a specialist geek subject, but from primary school onwards. Um, but uh, it was not until um, Eric Schmidt made his speech in late August that the door was really, as it were, kicked wide open. That brought it onto the national radar in a way that we, we had not been able to do up to that point. Um, but we had been poking quite a lot, so then it was a great surprise and, and, um, and thrill, actually, when Michael Gove, in his speech at BET, explicitly articulated the case for computer science as a discipline at school. That's the bit of his speech that I love most of all. Um, and since then, there's been a lot of media coverage, all the awarding bodies who we'd already been talking to, but they, they have come out with GCSEs in computer science, which is fantastic, because without a GCSE, you just can't teach the subject. People listening to this may not know that three years ago, there were no GCSEs in computing at all. None. Zero. If there were zero, you can't teach it. It's as simple as that. There were a dozen in ICT. So this imbalance, it wasn't, it's not that ICT is all bad, it's just that we got out of whack. We just need to rebalance the situation and then having all these new GCCs is just fantastic. The 
the bottom-upness is its strength. I sometimes, I, I feel as I have to keep reminding everybody, particularly people who are new to CAS, that there is no central organisation with a head office and three or four members of staff who are busy doing stuff. CAS has consisted almost 100% of volunteers. There's been a lot of support from BCS and we do actually employ Simon Humphreys as a coordinator um, four days a week. But, um, but that's incredibly small for a national movement. 99% of the energy in CAS comes from its members. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like an organisation that, that is all periphery and no centre. Um, and so the, the, the little bits of stuff that we do, as it were, at the centre that I do as, as, as chair, are not telling people what to do. Rather, they're saying, based on all the stuff that I'm getting from you, now I can go with a certain amount of credibility to Ofsted, to the Department of Education, to awarding bodies, and say, look, this is what the country needs, and we have credibility to back that. CAS is changing the world. Unusually for an organisation of volunteers, we've, we've caught the wave, and we're in a position to make a decisive and lasting change in our nation's educational system. And that chance does not come by very often. This is your chance to become part of the party. Just join. Anybody can join. And then you just roll up the sleeves and get on with it because that's what everybody else in CAS is doing.